Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nova Meister here, and today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to improve your sound quality. This video was actually going to be made just for one of my uh, personal friends on uh, Xbox who does YouTube. Um, big shout out to Nova Four Friends, and oh my god, what's this? Do you want to check? No, 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 fuck off. I'm doing a tutorial here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought if you guys, if you, a lot of people in the community are suffering from a little bit of buzzing in their audio quality, their sound quality, and I'll probably have a little bit on this one because I'm, I can't use Audacity because I'm using it in Camtasia. But that's what this is going to basically be about. Uh, I'm just trying to remove the background noise, which will stop people buying new microphones and new sound boards on their laptop. It's pretty crazy the lengths people will go into when really this is a, a easy step to improve your sound quality. Now the first thing you want to find out is what, um, what program or software you're using to record your audio. And that could be sound recorder the default sound recorder you could do it direct off vegas you could do it on camtasia now what you want to do is if you're using those programs is stop using those programs and download a thing called audacity audacity sound performance i'm going to leave the link in the description really easy download uh, completely free software and also one of the best softwares you'll get for uh, tinkering with your audio and things like that really good for just basic commentaries um, what I'm going to do is leave the link in the description. It really is an easy download, but if anyone has any problems, uh, comment in the comment section or message me and I'll sort that out for you uh, and see if I can help. But you should be able to get it pretty easily. And then there's Audacity. Now, um, what you're going to want to do here is uh, just you record your stuff by pressing the record button. You stop your recording. You export it to... Um, to you know, different place you want to put. I put it in a folder called Audacity Files, and then you can do whatever you want with it. Uh, so it's pretty simple to use if you haven't used it already. Um, but this is going to be to remove your background noise, to make your sound quality better, and to make for overall more professional and better sounding quality commentaries, which is pretty crucial uh, these days because everyone wants good quality commentaries if you're going to do them. Because there's so many out there. So let me just show you. So what you want to do is record but not speak for 5 seconds or well between 3 and 5 seconds. So I'm just going to do that now. Okay, now you're going to want to start your actual commentary and as you can see it's recording what I'm saying now which is good. I'm obviously not going to be using this commentary and I'm actually not using Audacity so I might have a bit of background buzz as I speak to you guys now. <laughs> but um, this is basically what you do. So that's all um, recorded. There is a little bit of background noise in that. A little bit of hiss, a little bit of buzzing, the stuff we don't like in our commentary. So what we're going to do is highlight the selected area that we didn't that we didn't actually talk over. This means that none of our commentary, none of our voice, it's not detecting any of our uh, actual um, speech, but it is detecting all the noise apart from speech. As you can see, there's not really anything going on here. So what you're going to do is get the noise profile of that particular area, and then what you're going to want to do is drag across the whole commentary, or just click Control A. It's a nice, easy shortcut to select everything. You're then going to go to Effect, go back to Noise Removal, and this time click OK. Now what it's going to do is go through all of that. Obviously, because I'm on Camtasia, it's not, but it will go through all of that, and it will mean that it will remove anything that sounds exactly like that from this, which basically means all your background noise should go uh, to the extent where anything that was picked up in that region will go in that. That doesn't really help with echoes and stuff like that because obviously it doesn't pick up speech from this bit. But it does get rid of any background noise, any hissing, any static caused by a uh, mic in the mic jack that's not quite you know, working properly. And will generally improve. I always do it no matter what, even if my mic sounds okay, because it will always, always improve your quality. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, any problems, either using Audacity or trying to use the audio trick that I've showed you, uh, let me know, and I will try and help you as best I can. But yeah, that's for you, Fourth Prince. Thank you very much. Good night. Yo guys, what's going on? Back again, and this time I've actually gone into Audacity and exported the file into Camtasia for you. So all the sound you heard before is what it's like before you've done the Audacity trick. And hopefully I should sound a bit better now and you guys can tell the difference.